A quick story, so I'm sitting in my room and I got my cravings, right? As every single person, what I get cravings of? Pizza. I am in America, not a single pizza or a meal in America is healthy probably, if you don't do it by yourself. So, now I'm listing on YouTube channels and stuff like that and I found out Remington's James Anabolic Chicago deep dish style pizza. Check it out, I have all the ingredients, so let's just prepare that meal. Anyway guys, welcome to the new video, Dorian here obviously and today you know already, I just said it, we're gonna prepare a deep dish Chicago style pizza. Since Remington James actually lives really nearby me, it would be fun if he like gives a review to this mine. Deep dish Chicago pizza? If I already started preparing that meal, why not to film for you too? Maybe some of the people not gonna see his video but gonna see mine and they're like, okay, you have some great recipes even though they are not yours, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, first what I said is preparing the dough guys, so let's just start with that. First things first, what you need to have is Ninja Blender of course and I am so happy that I have one because as he said it's one of the best investments that you're ever gonna do and it's really cheap. By the way, deep dish Chicago style pizza, I have a Chicago Bulls jersey, you get the point? Okay, let's continue with the video. 90 grams of all-purpose flour. Guys, don't be scared of all-purpose flour, breads and stuff like that. It's basically exactly the same like all the other carbs. The only way that people get fed because they eat every single day with every meal bread aside and of course calories in calories out now what we're gonna do put inside a little bit of salt i have a pink himalayan salt i'm sorry remington but i also gonna put a little bit of garlic powder you know it cannot be harmful it can only taste even better and then we're just gonna just mix it a little bit up. We have a one quarter of a cup with the yeast inside. Warm water, not too hot, but warm water. So what we're gonna do is open this little lid right here. Gonna continue mixing on the low while adding that water, little by little. Let's go. Just pour a little bit of flour on the surface. Roll your dough into a bowl. There you have it. I have my bowl, it was pretty quick to make. Now the next thing, bowl, and I'm gonna spray it around this bowl into a big bowl. I'm just gonna cover it with a foam. Put it on a warmer place somewhere. I'm gonna put it in the microwave, not turning on the microwave with the foam. Guys, never do that, your microwave is gonna explode and that's not gonna be good. So, I'm gonna put that in the microwave for about one hour and I see you there to finish that pizza. Eventually. I have everything prepared, my ingredients. I have a cheese right here, I have a turkey pepperoni, I have a marinara and I have my dough. So first things first, we need to prepare a dough and move every single ingredients aside even though I need them in front of me. Just a bit of a flour. I don't have a, this roller, don't even know how, what the name of that is. But I have a glass guys. Improvise. Most of you people don't have a lot of things, but improvise. There's no rules in anabolic kitchen how they say both of them. To be honest, I think that's gonna be perfectly fine this size. Now, I also don't have a cake pan, but I have a this skillet. If I screw this, it's on me. I'm just oh my god, always the same. I'm just gonna spray it around, not to stick, put it inside. It's already like it's supposed to be, the edges are higher. You need to push the edges because it is deep dish style pizza. When the dough is ready, we are off to the toppings. First things first, he have a 196 grams of a fat free cheese. He has a mozzarella cheese. I just did 90 grams of a cheddar fat free cheese and 90 grams of a mozzarella fat free cheese. It's the same in calories, just the two different kinds of a uh, cheese. So now I'm gonna just put that first. I'm just gonna put the half now. The next thing I have is 60 grams of turkey pepperoni. This one it's a 70 
percent less of a fat so I'm using that one and we're gonna put it on the top of the cheese our pizza is fully covered in cheesy pepperonis now the next thing marinara sauce on the top I'm using this one because this is the only one that I could find this is no added sugar organic one and per serving is 50 calories I have it in this cup fully covered so it's 378 grams of marinara sauce and now we don't gonna put everything we're just gonna drizzle a bit we're gonna put less than a half of that now we have a rest of the cheese what we're gonna do is stop over that pepperoni and everything once again I think I'm doing the good job until now if you like what I'm doing guys support your boy click that like button now what he said he's gonna push everything a little bit looks awesome thank you the last two steps and that is once again marinara sauce the rest of it as he said evenly spread it around our top of the pizza man I think I'm doing a good job and we made it to the last step and that is just putting the 10 grams of a parmesan cheese on the top for some better flavor you know Here it is guys, voila, just to show before we put it in the oven, looks B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. The last step is put the oven on 425 degrees. We're gonna bake the pizza, as he said, from 23 to 28 minutes, but he always gonna put it on 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna put my pizza in the oven. Oven is already preheated. I did everything, you know, multitasking stuff like that. Pizza is inside. When I come back, we're gonna eat something epic. Let's go, baby. 20 minutes later. Wow, listen to this sound. I'm spilling, I'm spilling all over the kitchen looks nice I'm gonna leave it for a couple of moments to cool down a little bit and then we're gonna eat look at those guns people oh my god in front of me Chicago deep dish pizza on me Chicago Bulls Jersey only we be missing Remington James eating with me but it is what it is maybe next time anyway I have this pizza in front of me guys look just look at this and why I'm doing this taste test review, I don't usually do stuff like that. First of all, algorithms, guys. Everybody's supporting each other lately, and I wanted to support Remington James because Guy actually has awesome recipes. And I'm gonna put the link of his channel in the description box down below so you can check it out if you want to try some recipes like this one. This whole meal, guys, has around 800 calories, and this is deep dish pizza. If you're gonna eat deep dish pizza in the restaurant, it's probably gonna be at least two to 3,000 calories. I'm just gonna try the taste, then I'm gonna review it, of course, but it already smells, and I know it's gonna be really good. The second thing I wanna review it, because, guys, I'm from Europe. I actually never tried deep dish pizza. So if this is good, I'm never even gonna try the deep dish pizza, because I have the best possible substitute. Look at this, people. The cheese is dripping all over. Let's go. Oh shit. Whoa guys. Whoa. If somebody puts this on your table in the restaurant, you're probably never gonna figure out that this is like healthy pizza and I'm actually really really proud that I make, made it it only seems to be like making it to a long time but it really isn't guys big big shout out to Remington James I'm gonna rate it from 10 9 nothing is perfect so it's gonna be 9 but this tastes really really good I'm gonna finish this in a piece just wanna review it I made it I'm really proud of myself that I actually did it and it's not difficult at all, you can try it at home basically, every one of you. That's why I'm trying all those kind of things because I was living in Europe and watching those YouTube videos. We don't have a food like turkey pepperoni, low fat cheese, stuff like that. But here I am living in America so I need to try all the recipes. If you like this video in any sort of way, shape or form, to support the boy click that like button, I will really appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this, reviewing some other recipes while I'm showing how it's made and try to also support those people who are making these recipes because 
making up those recipes is like really really clever to be honest and shout out once again to that and put a comments down below if you want to see more videos like that if you're new to the channel don't know what you're doing living under the rock or living somewhere in the sky don't get it maybe you don't have a 5g 3g g spot anything i don't know but click that subscribe button so furthermore you can watch my videos and not so beautiful pace but it is what it is thank you guys once again for watching and i see you very soon as always in my next video Association.